in three, two, one, go! And on the blue line, which is fighting it to make its way back into the upper bracket for a shot of the finals, we see all three robots dropping off the cones they started with, and both 972 and Quicksilver grabbing cubes. Only Iron Claws, however, manages to score. And their alliance partners, 5171, made it onto the charging station, but did not get it level. Red Alliance fared somewhat better in that regard. They had one robot docked and engaged, three pieces scored in the upper row, and now it is already five. Robodor is dropping off another cone in the upper row for the Red Alliance, enough for them to hold the lead for now, but it is a narrow one. Blue coming in to take that back as 604 drops off a cube in the upper row. Their alliance partners, 71, take their place and add one to the middle row. Iron Claw adding another cone to the upper row, and just as soon as they move out of the way, Quicksilver has already finished another cycle and dropping off their own cone. Minute and a half left to go. Red Alliance still is holding that lead, however, but it is by the narrowest of margins. Prototypes adding a cube. It falls short of the upper row, but scores in the middle. Almost getting hung up on the charging station, but making their way up and over, while their alliance partners are busy working up the grids to score. Back on blue, we see all three of their robots in the middle of the field, two of them on their way to the loading zone, getting a little bit tangled up. Iron Claw already on their way back and scoring. Looks like each alliance has every position save one in their upper row already filled with a minute to go in the match. But now the blue alliance has taken the lead, pulling ahead, 20 points separating our alliances with a minute to go. Jacek's Machina now racing back, adding their cube to the bottom row. And meanwhile, on red, we see Blazing Bulldog adding a cone to the middle. And red alliance has clawed that score back closer with 45 seconds to go. And we see all three of our red robots racing back. It is Blazing Bulldogs who finish the upper row for the Red Alliance while Quicksilver finishes out the blue. Just over 30 seconds left, only six points separating our alliances. This will absolutely come down to the end game scoring. And speaking of, Deus Ex Machina already patiently waiting at the charging station while their alliance partners try to get a final few game pieces scored. 20 seconds left, and 604, Quicksilver up onto the blue charging station, trying to move their alliance partners over without showing them off. And we have just over 10 seconds left. Blazing Bulldogs trying to get a last score in and then ease their way up into the charging station. Both alliances have three robots on, rocking back and forth. Three seconds, and both alliances get all three of their robots docked and engaged. Our Blue Alliance, after fighting all the way through the lower bracket, has made it back where they will play in the finals. By a score of 186 to 178, they have earned their way back there. And 